Hello, my name is Sarah Pimentel and I'm a studio and membership coordinator. This is the third video of the series. So if you'd like to watch the previous videos in order, then head over to our YouTube channel and click on the playlist called Member Self-Service Portal. This video will be going over how to update your artist profile and how to mark your artwork as for sale, not for sale or sold. Keep in mind that after exhibitions um, are complete, we mark all of the pieces as not for sale. And this is because your contract with us is over. If you'd like to continue selling your artwork through us, then you'll need to update your piece as for sale. So let's go over how to do that. To start, we need to sign in. So we'll go to artist.ca and scroll down to the bottom of the page. At the far right bottom corner, click here on login. Here you can put in your username or your email, then of course your password, and click sign in. I'll be using a made up account for this video. So here we are logged in as Claude E. Painter, and I'll say, welcome back, you are now logged in. And it looks just like our regular front page, but as you can see at the top right hand corner, you have your login information and it says you are logged in. So now we click on my account. So now we're on member self service portal. Here you can make changes, update your personal information and manage all of your paintings. Under the about you tab, you're able to change any of your personal information by clicking update contact information. Here, once you make your changes, click on Save Changes. You're also able to change your password and then click Set New Password when you're done. And then over here, Set Photo. Any photo that you choose here will not be shown publicly unless you um, give us permission to do so. Under Membership, you're able to see your membership type when it expires, and if you're affiliated with a chapter. By clicking Renew Now, it will open up to confirm your contact details. If everything is correct, click Save Contact Information and Continue. And in this page, then you can choose how you would like to have your um, Art Avenue Magazine subscription uh, sent to you. Uh, it will tell you when your renewal period will be. Um, and if you would like to donate, and then you would continue and put in your payment information. So going back, this tab over here about chapters will send you to a page that gives you more information about all of our chapters that we have. We currently have 14 chapters across Canada, and you can be affiliated with one that might be close to your home. Under the art submissions, is where you have all of your pieces that you have um, submitted into past exhibitions. And they'll have information such as not paid or enduring or not completed to let you know where um, the piece stands. If you click on view more submissions, you'll be able to see um, a list of all of the uh, pieces that you have submitted in the past. And if you click on view current opportunities, it will send you to a page that has all of the calls for submission. Going back under courses and workshops here, you can see um, any of the workshops uh, that you have registered for. And under view upcoming courses, it will take you to anything that's coming up such as the 2022 retreat, for example. Let's go back under invoices and payments. This is where you're able to see past payments to the Federation, including entry fees, um, your membership renewals, anything like that. This is an important part here. I've just switched over to um, a member's account and to show what we're looking for from our members to have. So far, we've gone through part of your portal that the public doesn't see. So now we're going to start looking at the information that the public is going to see. So once you get to this section, to start off, I would recommend you to right click with your mouse on this button, view profile, to open your profile in a new page in a different tab. Right click, 
open like a new tab. And here it is. So we'll be going back and forth to see what changes we're making to the front. This is the front end, and this is what the public sees. And this is our back end. So to make those changes, we go to update profile. You can choose to have your uh, profile hidden or visible. So if you're currently editing it and you're making a lot of changes, you don't want it to be visible at the moment, so you can hide it or you can just keep it visible, make those changes. Um, and we recommend you to always keep it visible. Showing your town. So um, the mailing address that you have on your account is what will uh, automatically go on your profile. So when we go back to Kit's um, profile, her mailing address says she's from Kelowna. So that's what's there. If, you, if your mailing address and your home address are different, then you can choose a custom location here or you can hide your town altogether. The reason why we uh, show our town or, or city is um, because some buyers are looking for artists from a particular area. Okay, moving down. So here is where your bio would go and you can also choose to have a short bio and a quote. So the first one, the description, this long bio actually shows up right here on your profile. So the short description is here. So um, on the gallery, when a client is looking for your profile, it's what's going to show up and I'll show you here. So here we are on the gallery. And when we scroll down, if someone were to be looking for you, they could write kit. And then you see here, kit bells, um, just a short bio shows up right here, a brief description, and then you're able to view the artist profile. If you don't have anything in that short description section, it'll just be blank like this one right here. So going back, you can add your social media and website links here, and they will show up right underneath your profile, right underneath your profile photo. And here you're able to change these images. So this is the banner image, headshot, sidebar image, and they are displayed just like this right here. So now this is the section for listed artworks. We have five listed artworks and 30 unlisted artworks. To view and manage these artworks, you can click on this button here and you can see which artworks are listed right here. And the uncompleted or unlisted artworks show up in these two tabs. Uh, for unlisted and listed artwork, you have the option to hide the piece or show it in the gallery by clicking on one piece. Going down here, you can either hide it or include it. Keep in mind that only pieces accepted into juried exhibitions are displayed on the website. As well, if you had a piece in a jury chapter show and that chapter did not opt in to have the exhibition on the Federation Gallery website. So if your work has been juried in a show and um, was on display on our website, but now isn't, then that means you still need to fill out some information such as the category, it didn't include the weight. There's something that is missing that you haven't included, and that's the reason why it's not showing up on the website. So if I click painting um, and then I save changes, it's still not going to be included because I didn't include the weight. And so if all, once all the information is um, put in, then it will uh, show up on the website. You are also able to make changes to these pictures. You can choose what style it is, uh, what subject is in this painting, and any additional contents, and then click Save Changes. For featured artworks, in this section, the computer auto-generates a few featured artworks if you didn't select anything. For example, if we go to Kit Bell's uh, profile, nothing um, that I've selected is showing up except for what the computer has generated. So. If I go to choose featured artworks, and then I actually want to have this piece featured, then it will show up 
Let's say refresh. Now it's the only one that shows up because I chose to have it featured. When before the computer auto-generated some of the work to be up. You can also create uh, artist collections. So if you have an art buyer who wants to look at certain pieces, then you can create a, a collection and uh, label it, whatever you like, and it will show up um, on your profile right around here. And yeah, so this is um, most of the things that you can do on your portal. We will be going over this section here, my artworks and the changes that you can make here in the next upcoming video. If you haven't seen the previous videos, please do so. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Once you have all of this information filled out, it makes it so much easier for us to be able to help sell your work. So go ahead and change, um, make your any changes you need to do on your portal and update your bio and your profile picture and all those things. Thank you for watching.